I'm using the seven, John. Um, out of yeah. so out of have you got if if you use the fifteen because yes. I'm actually fifteen with me. Okay, and I will go to fifteen right now. So I can make a, a sort of a. Obviously, our writs are not the same, but uh, I, I can make a, a direct comparison to what I'm familiar with. Or at least had a look at this afternoon. I wished I better understood in conversational fashion the way you place probes on things because Which, I yeah. revert by nature to always throwing that sucker to the right and and I know it uh, I, I want to learn how to make it make sense um, yes. your your way and right now unfortunately you're gonna have to just work with me on on my way until I learn the right way that's fine so um, I have, in this case, uh, obviously there's uh, Guion's. Let me come in a little bit. You're seeing one one screen of mine, correct? And it's just the Clarius. Just the Clarius, yeah. Well, what I don't, what I'd like to know is whether or not you have. Um, is it is it as clear as it's ever been when I've been doing the imaging? Uh, yes, I think so. I'm just going to bear with me if things go awry. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you into there and stick you on a separate monitor, which is bigger. And therefore, I can... Um... Now you'll have to, I guess the other thing, and I keep... Yeah. Yes. I will right. hope so one, so you one put it day down at 1.7. The bottom the bottom I'm seeing is 1.7 and then yes. you've got this the uh, freeze bar. Yeah. So drop the depth down a fraction more if you can. Depth down. Oops. Yeah. I, down. I have to go to here. I can go even yeah. more. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. And right. What's the frame rate like? Uh oh. What does it feel like? Uh, when you say that, are you saying how 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 delayed is it from when I move something to when I see it move on my screen, or what do you mean by? Oh, yeah. Yes, is the frame rate a little bit slow on that picture of yours? No, I'm I'm seeing what, what I choose to believe the ulnar artery next to what I'm thinking is the ulnar nerve and then it's the pisiform bone but this is where I need to have you saying hey Fritz don't call it that you're not even close to that you need the slice lines <laughs> that's all right uh, Sorry, I'm just coming into the no, same I'm... setting on on there, on my. See what oh, it's I like. see what you're doing. You're going to be seeing, in what a direct feed is quality-wise, to what you're seeing on the screen that I'm giving you. Yeah, uh, that's the plan. Uh -huh. uh, obviously, our wrists are different, but uh, right. So pull across to the uh, median nerve. Yeah, so I'm getting a much different frame rate to yours. I can almost count out the frames as they're going through. But that that's might not, be... That's not acceptable. I've got to find a way that I can get you... Well, that, that, might, that might actually be our broadband because I'm getting quite a nice frame rate, a nice pickup on here. Should we just see what it looks like if you stop sharing and I will share to you the same... Same yes. thing, and you can tell me what it looks like. Yes, I'm going to do that now. Yeah. So I'm going to stop sharing. Yeah. I'm right. going to no, max. 
I'm going to go to speaker view. And I'm going to switch off iTunes. It keeps trying to download poor Andy's um, <laughs> app. Improvement. <laughs> Right, you Ooh. seeing that? Yeah, but I think it's just the way you scan. But that's 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 actually pretty nice, buddy. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. So maybe I need to learn how he has you set up. Nope. He ha he has me set up exactly the same. It may well be that uh, it's it's an issue with my broadband. How do I? Can't. How do I? How do I? Put some shekels in your pocket to bring that up to a speed where I can put you up with the Jetsons, or or is there not a way of doing that? I'm I'm. There's not an easy way of doing it, which is why we've been struggling with it. It's more a matter. Um, it's some. It's work in progress. Okay. Uh, but thing is, it, it doesn't really make sense because the upload should be more difficult than the download for our system. And uh, so it might well be just oh. uh, how busy things are here to compared to how busy they are in the States. Because that looked nice. That, that looks nice on my screen. I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, but I want you to talk me through. You were following the median nerve. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you see that bundle of joy in the middle of the, uh, Yeah. Okay. Let me, I, I, no, I can't. I don't know if I can safely use the cursor, uh, hold this probe in place with my chin. And I <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> If you can see me now, well, I don't know. You probably can see. Me I now. can. I can see you holding it in your mouth. <laughs> but this is the this is the year of COVID. You need to at least you know put dentures in or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. We need. Uh, I I don't know. See, I cannot. See, uh, if I minimize this screen, yeah. So the screen I'm sharing, I can now scan with that. Uh, let's have a look. Where am I? Oh, I yeah. see your cursor now. Yeah. That's the median nerve there. And now I'm not keeping it in the middle of the screen because I can't move the cursor. Yeah, if I, I put the middle of the cursor. I'll put the cursor in the middle of the screen. I'll keep yes. the median nerve off. Yes. That would be the right thing to do, wouldn't it? So we go. See if I've got the probe the right way around. Yep. So that's all right. So, so median nerve is right under the, there, and it comes up. It wants to go to the sides, so I have to turn the probe and keep it there. So it's just there. And you can see the all the little dots inside the median, or I can see all the little dots inside the median nerve. See those little focal areas. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm doing pretty well. I, I'm really impressed. I am giving some credibility to the fact that you are keeping the angles the way they need to be. And uh, but but to me, I'm I'm pretty impressed. I I would. I am getting what did you call a frame refresh rate? I'm getting that slowing down periodically, so yeah. that it is it does get pretty shifty. Yeah. And that's that. That's what I was seeing when you were doing. But you know, and again, that that's not, maybe not a bad thing. It make us scan slightly more slowly, which is always a skill. <laughs> you are on the median there. Yeah, median nerve is being covered by the cursor at the moment. The 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 tissue directly above tendon. Yeah. yeah. The, the, yeah the, the, the darkness. I'm not, I'm not Palmaris longus. It's it's often a little bit dark. It's um, uh, probably it's quite springy ligament. Would be my explanation. Okay. So probably more elastin than uh, the average. Um, there we go. Are into the palm. And you sort of lose it there. You probably need a little bit more jelly. Are you 
reasonably impressed with the device. I, for, for what I've looked at so far, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I haven't uh, I, I managed to get it on his shoulders. But, yeah. you know, I'm able to see the nerve here right into the palm. It's, I, I've got one of the large branches right on the cursor at the moment. And it's still the there. The large branches of? The median nerve. Wow. In the palm. Did you happen to see that guy from uh, um, Australia posting about the GE uh, hockey stick uh, probe uh, on Twitter? Not recently, no. He, um, he, it's the new 25 megahertz one, and I was going to send a link to you. Uh, again, every time I hear people touting the high frequency, I go back to you saying it, it really is more about other things in addition to that. Um, yeah. And he was able to pull off these different, because my eyes don't see these branches that you're following, uh, with, not see that no, 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 no. I'm not saying I don't see what you're following. I'm saying because I didn't even know that existed. I, I would, all I'm doing is looking at median nerve for um, darkness or bigness um, okay. in two locations, and I'm measuring a you know, general yeah. thing. But yeah. it's That's this, quite nice. Right on that cursor, yes. right on the tip of the cursor, yes. is what of the two digital nerves just at that point. You see the artery right underneath it. Wow. Is that going up? Yeah, so no, got, no, I, nerve, again, yeah. what, what I am, nerve, nerve. You, you, yeah. you, the, the artery underneath it is basically your landmark to look for the brighter colored honeycomb above it to identify the interosseous nerve. Not really, because I was just, I was just following the nerves uh, round. Oh, I got gotcha. you. The nerve is just there. There's a bundle of the nerve there, and it comes off, and it seems to slide over both sides. And I was following this bit here, and then I just noticed the artery was running with it. But I can see a tiny little nerve there with little black, little tiny little black dots. How close to your cursor is the nerve? It's it's right on the okay. bottom of the nerve. Is right yes. on the, yeah. top of okay. the cursor. So the the the, the cross sectional area of the nerve even is a little bit larger than the dark area of the vessel. Yes, just okay. a fraction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. I I'm just attempting to see the same things. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that. That's the problem with scanning your own hand. I can't move the cursor around. <laughs> Show you the bits, of, or even freeze the picture. But yeah, no, that I'm getting quite a nice picture of the of the. You can you can freeze if you push the button on the oh, on, yes. on the probe, but Thank I forgot whether it's down button or up button or or whatever the case. Talk oh, to that, me. That, that's no, I just um, I can't multitask. Okay. There <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so I wasn't quite in the slice I wanted, but it's it. When you start seeing the difference between the fascia in the nerve and the actual nerve nerve bundles here, then you know that that's nice. It gives me a warm feeling when I can make out detail like that. So, so you know, is it it because looking, say that again. Uh oh, I lost you. In terms of, in terms of looking at the anatomy, all oh, right. Can you still hear? You. Can you hear me yep, now? I have you now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So so yes, yeah, so I'm I'm looking forward to um, you know when the children finally go to sleep. I might <laughs> get a shoulder on there. <laughs> oh, you haven't had it for a few days. You've just had it for no, a little bit. We we switched it on this afternoon. Oh, well, I'm glad then. We, we we and and it looks to me, see, maybe again i see you as this endless wealth of of information that if i just spent an hour with you working on your wrist like that showing me different things like that i would be happy however i, I also want to be a steward of your time and i also would like to put these into little packages that had some components that would be 
that would be useful to to individuals like me or even dumber than me um, and they could plug it in to have value with that in mind I wished I had as clear of a way for you to see it while I'm doing it unless that's a frustration because um, I would like to package together either you doing a scan, yeah. talking me through it, and then I show the same type of thing, and 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 then you can help me refine it, and maybe evolving out of that would be a a good way of presenting this, um, other than just me grabbing your mind. <laughs> yep, I like I, I like the sound of it. That's that, that's sort of what I had in mind. Do, so, you, uh, yeah. do, do you think that there would be anything more I could do to make my end? Uh, because it sounds to me like when you're on your um, monitor with that scanner, you're actually able to see things that... Um, that my resolution would not have given you the ability to, to see. And I would like to explore if there's anything more that you might know of that I could help facilitate either on my end or your end, or yep. like you're pointing out, just we learn to slice a little slower, but that takes more yep. of your time. Am I making no, sense no, to you? No, I, I think, I think I will investigate the, our, uh, uh, internet again. We've been have we just have trouble with our internet in the area. They're they're old. It's just old wiring. I think is the is the issue. We pay for plenty of plenty of bandwidth, uh, but it's either old wiring or we need to we're going to try some different routers on the system. So it's it's work in progress. We're just uh, homeschooling the children at the moment. So you know, <laughs> spare capacity. You know, and, and there's plenty of them. But I uh, know. I think we should have another go at uh, at use scanning. Uh, we might try a different time of day. That might make a difference. If it's in, uh, it may not work that way. But we could we could try again now. I suspect if the, uh, if that's the main thing on the agenda, uh, and there's nothing else you want to cover. Uh, I think we should have another go now. Just see if we can forget about the camera on the looking okay. hand for the moment. All right. Because uh, you know, for but for a lot of the stuff, it might well be certainly is for a trial. We could just try that, uh, and then if if it's not up to scratch, we can think about a the internet here, b the time of day we go. Is it the fact that there's a lot of traffic in the U.S. at midday? Uh, and that that's interfere, you know, because that's that has a, a part to play. We're we're running through Zoom, uh, and that may well affect our bandwidth uh, more than anything else. I would uh, I would love to try that out. I know we're we're the infrastructure we're watching build out here for five G. So at I least know. we're going to be able to have access to that on our end in the next I don't know how long, um, but yeah. I don't know whether we, or not that's. Gonna, Say that again. We may have it here soon. Uh, it's uh, these things don't. You, they tend to hit you when they yes. when they happen. <laughs> when they happen. All right. Let me see what I can do here, John. We'll we'll give it a try, and then I would like to, even if I have to get up at a at a crazy time, just to give it a try to see what happens if our if our times are so what's, are, are what's your, uh, you're eight hours. You're eight hours behind us, aren't you? Yes. So. Uh, uh, so seven and um, eight o'clock in the morning is midnight your end. Yeah, but I'd be willing to give that a try. I mean, I well, but also what time? In, we we could even try a slot during the day. Remember, Christine's at home as long as it's not Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, you know, I've got odd bits of work, but we just just for the for the sake of seeing what works and what doesn't work. Yeah, we you could come on for. 10 20 minutes yeah uh at a night that's, that's reasonably quiet in in uh, on the west coast and it may well be the bandwidth is different let's let's give that a try but for the time being so that we can compare apples to apples this is what yeah. i look like now 
I'm gonna you're you're seeing me off of just the main main screen, correct? Yeah. Now if yeah. I if I share out here via this, I'm gonna go to this. We'll do the fifteen. Are you seeing? Uh, are you seeing anything other than me? I'm see. I'm seeing your shared screen connecting. Okay. I'm seeing you joining the network. I very nearly pressed on it myself. But. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> and and, and you figured down at about two centimeters? Uh, well, no, that, that was just, I was wondering whether it would make the picture any bigger. Oh. Uh, but yeah, no, that's, that, that's fine. Two centimeters is fine. Uh, you can, Maybe uh, even you can go help. a little bit. Well, it, it's, it's whether it has a knock-on effect on your frame rate. Oh. Because the deeper you go, in theory, the the, the slower the frame rate. But uh, but actually, that that frame rate is is not yours because yours is running like mine was, and yours is yours is coming in almost sort of visible frame rate. You got you got like it looks like a frame a second. Oh. So if I go from one side to the other, and where? John, what what do you use as the landmark um, for what? I guess you were actually proximal and distal. You went even you went even down to uh, some of the fingers, right? Yeah, yeah. But but you often it's it's often quite hard work. Uh, once you get into the, the meat of the palm, meat of the thin remnants, uh, it can be quite hard work to see the meat you didn't have well at that point, but. Uh, not impossible, but uh, but you have to work a lot harder. Uh, but talk me through again. Uh, this was to p basically try to get apples for what we're going to compare when 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 we don't. Yeah. So you you've got the media nerve quite nicely there in the middle of the screen, where well, you did have a moment ago. It it is that my picture is very jumpy. I almost feel like I should be able to video this for you. Should I turn the camera around so you can see what you're seeing? Yes. I'm gonna, um, I may or may not be able to do this. Uh, I might, if I disconnect my clavier, yes. Uh, put that over there. I'm terrified of dropping it. Uh, I mean, I can't now see the picture at all. Can you see the screen? Yes. Oh my, that's like old school people walking on the moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my land. I don't know what to say to that. That that's horrible. You can't you can't help me if you're if it's like we're going through a picture book where we're drawing stick figures and then we're that's craziness, John. I, yeah. I, that that that's not. That's not how I want to interact with my mentor. <laughs> no, that, that, that's not. Um, that's not. So what? I think what we need to do is you need to come here, and I'll help. <laughs> you. <laughs> Say that one more time. <laughs> you need to come here, and and you can scan here, and I'll go to Seattle. And <laughs> <laughs> you, you, if 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 I had what you had in your mind, I could. The opportunity here is, um, you know, at least right now, while while the wave is the way it is, uh, yeah. the the fee for service options. But anyway, oh, yeah. that's just spilled milk. It's, it can't happen. Um, yeah. So, um, unless of course you're ready to come and 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 uh, start a business with me, but you'd have to come here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm quite I'd, I'd be quite up for it that some uh, sometime around. About bedtime. I'm just ready to go and work out in Seattle for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just tell Christine that you know work works tight around here. I'm going to have to go out to Seattle for a week a month. <laughs> that, yeah, that and, and 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 that could easily, you know, uh, that that in my opinion, that could easily uh, 
be uh, be very. I, again, when I say very, I, I believe that I we've never talked real finances, but I it sounds to me like from a income uh, capability, I'm putting you in you know a category of of well compensated, but my well compensated is you know 120 to 200 um and and so that's my own conversion here um so you know i it, it doesn't matter to me except that what i want is for you to feel um benefited by helping me uh besides me just feeling uh, benefited from getting your help so um anyway um I did want to talk to you a little bit about um, my level of, I guess, paranoia, uh, John, and I'll make sure this is brief. Um, I'm generating videos, uh, which are educational videos that I'm trying to focus on the physical therapy um, uh, um, market. And um, yeah. I have put together what I believe to be case studies that are demonstrating what I think they're demonstrating. It is mortifying if I would ever think you would watch them because of the level of um, uh, poserness, the the level of um, projecting the, um, the 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 what I'm seeing. It, yet at the same time, because I don't want to have somebody see it um, who would be able to legitimately say that's not even close to what you're claiming it is. So I have to establish a relationship with you where I'm a lot more willing to be vulnerable enough to say, hey, would you be willing to watch a 20 minute thing and then sit back with somebody who's willing to at least say, hey, we really can't say what you just said, uh, you know, th that kind of thing. Because these videos are being eaten up like I know something and I find myself in a position where if I ever were on a world stage with individuals that I truly do respect, it'd be nice to have a level of confidence that would allow me to go, you know, I wasn't so far off. Yeah. And, and yes, <laughs> yeah. there's this element of, of invested time in these videos. I, 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 I find myself so hungry too feel like I'm not necessarily able to shoulder to shoulder, but I know I recognize what I don't know and I can learn what I do know. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of where I find myself. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good place to be. That's, that's exactly what, what it should be. And, uh, you know, you're in the situation that we were in you know, 10 years ago where we were pretty much making it up as we went along, telling people that's how we thought stuff was. And a lot of the time we were right. Some of the time we were just talking shit. And, sorry, um, and that's, and without, because it isn't fully, fully connected, you haven't, you haven't got the radiologists training you and all the rest of it, and you're not training the radiologists, so they, they're not as brave as you are. So they don't put stuff out there, but if they did, and if it was, and if it touched on physical therapy, it would be bollocks. And <laughs> the fact is that no one would, no one really criticizes them for that because they are seen as, as the officer class, but it doesn't really change. It, it is the same thing that, you know, you're going to, you're going to have done some things that aren't quite right. And when I look back at the stuff that I do and said, I see exactly the same stuff and maybe I tend to be a more cautious personality, but that's, we need more people like you, not more people like me. So, <laughs> so, well, you know, you, 
uh, flattery aside, that's the that is the uh, the bottom line is that your style is your style, and I'm not going to knock it. Uh, I, I need critical think input. You need you need critical input. You can that's 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 quiet. That is, but but is uh, uh, to the point, and I'm quite uh, happy not, to provide that. Not point. injurious, and I know you would be injurious, but but very candid, yeah. so that people who yes. will be injurious, because there'll be people out there who will say that's not even close to what you're saying. It is based on this, 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 and this, and the reality yeah. is they may be right. Uh, it's yes. only after I get affirmation of what I'm seeing and I feel as though I could hold my own right now a little wind would blow my level of confidence over and 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 that's kind of where I I would love to if I if I build up the courage I'll send you a video that I've made it's not gone out to marketing yet uh, but I've I've just passed it around to my colleagues here and they're all oh that's fabulous and, and, yeah. and I really would like for you to say um, these are the cautionary things because now I, I replay these case studies and I, I didn't even know what slice thickness was. And even as I was looking at the median nerve here and you said, well, you had the median nerve there. In the back of my mind, I'm going, did I do this and change that or, or did, I, did I not do this and not follow it down, um, you know? And so, you're doing that automatically. <laughs> All right. Um, Did you want I, to see the images? I, I saw you, you, you sent a, a list. Yeah, of, I would love to see any image of, of, oh, I also have been hitting your WhatsApp with, with PDFs. Um, only because I send you ones that I think are reasonable. Yeah, a of Say that again. I, I, I like that. I don't get to, uh, I'm, I'm not got a huge amount of time to read them, but, but they are things that they do interest me. I, it's one of the, the, um, the rotator interval. It, there's one with it's that. Ending. That I think is going be, it's going to be important soon. At the moment, I don't think anybody's really got the clinical connection. You know, we're looking at the, we're just really starting in the last couple of years to understand the anatomy. And, and to even to be able to visualize it well. So no one's actually put that into a clinical context in a uh, really real, you know, the surgeon will talk about it, but no one just really knows what part it plays in pathology, in, uh, in, in practice. Uh, so, but I think that will come. And I think if the closer we can be to the, to the uh, crest of that wave, the better we'll be. So I'm, I'm very interested in that area. When I send those to you, there will never mean that you need to comment. I just came across a contemporary thing that I thought was cool, and it's going to come to yours in full text because I just yeah. have access to it. So, anyway, you're going to you're going to share stuff with me. Yeah. What What was it you were? I'm just trying to find your uh, your message when you when you wrote down your list of, of things. Yeah, day. Let me see what I can pull well, up. Well, yeah, you had uh, you said uh, the viewing on the Claris. We've had a look at that. Uh, some of the scanning logistics. We've talked about that. Like chat visit, uh, and visit some of your studies. Was there it, this is just uh, either something right? recent, because again, the fact that you even said, "Look, there's the interosseous nerve." The more I yeah. see you saying, "Look, there's the interosseous nerve," the more I'll look at the interosseous nerve. It, it, yeah. I'm going to give you this link to this guy, Wilkins, Danny Wilkins. He calls himself something from Australia. Yep. And he was seeing the a branch from the ulnar nerve going through the Guion Canal. And, and, I, and, I, and he's showing it in long axis. And, and, and I'm going, whoa, the ability to have access to even know that something comes off there that's of relevance. Or maybe it's not relevant. But yeah. anyway. I, yeah. With, I think with, we, with some of that stuff, I need to go. I, whenever I come across it, I have to go back to my textbooks because I can't remember that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, there are there are all sorts of branches uh, and variations of branches of ulna and median nerve, and uh, and as the scanners are getting better, it's only relatively recently that we've taken them very seriously. You know, there was stuff we looked at in our youth, uh, and then went. Mm, 
I don't see it, I don't see problems there often enough. Uh, let me just have a look if I can put that up here. Then we go. So if I just open this up and then share it with you, then we can spend a couple of minutes looking at this uh, share screen. We go to desktop two. Good. Uh, so this is my. Uh, we go Bedford. That's good. Uh, so these are some of my record days I've recorded. I don't know whether you can see a big long list there. Uh, unfortunately, most of my stuff is in time order. So uh, so you kind of unless. So I don't. Something to I don't for. care if I just go through all the patients that you did on the last half of the day. <laughs> yeah, uh, ankle delt. But I'm seeing you. Well, let's just take a a random day. Yeah. All right. You you're not seeing my. Oh, that's because sorry, uh, failed to hit the button. Okay. So you should have a a, a file screen up, and then if we go there here uh, i'm lit this is just literally random yeah i think this is an injury to delta deltoid this is the back of the deltoid here where the tibialis posterior is coming off and then going forward you just see deltoids a bit mushy here coming down towards the uh, a sustentaculum tali, I think, is there. Well, actually, that might be even be the Navic. Yeah. So, mushy is fairly mushy random. Is he he heter heterogeneous. Yeah, and heterogeneous, swollen. You know, a bit uh, edematous. Yeah. Not doesn't look like. That. So you, you see here, these are. I should pause. There, I wind back a bit. See, this is normal appearance. Yeah, yeah. Not, I'm not of the deltoid. Of the, these are fibrous bands of the short, short fibrous bands of the posterior deltoid. And then as we rock, yeah, that's going back. So that's, and then we're coming away from malleus there. We stop here, this section here. So where we go, this is where the band's still visible. And then we come slightly further. And all that tidiness is gone from the tissue there. And this here, all this this soft tissue is very unstructured. Yeah. And you see how they, you can see some fibrous bands there that are oblique and some fibrous bands here that are, that, uh, are oblique. So the uh, image quality is poor. But then here where you'd expect to see the more superficial fibers of depth, Altoid. It's just a mess. Now, when you do when you do these scans, are you also oh. saying to them, "Hey, do you feel pain as you as you push that down?" Or or is it more along? I mean, it. Sometimes. It, Sometimes. Okay, and and to what extent? While do say that again. So you know, I'm I, I'm asking them where it hurts. But but I'm also but then when I'm scanning I'm kind of just quietly going through it, uh, just trying to let because sometimes conversation stops your brain working quite so well. Yes. To what extent do you put any credibility to uh, uh, neovascularity or hyper effusion in this area uh, as it relates to your or are you just injecting into the mushy area? No, with, with with something like this, I will uh, I'll put this the the vascularity the uh, the color Doppler on, and if this is a patient with an old uh, old injury to deltoid, I think if I just pop back here, I should get the title of the uh, deltoid injury and hematoma quite old. So what I would do seeing something like that, uh, if we go back to where we were. Here on the scan, a little bit further on. Just here, let me just bring it up. Yeah, you've got lots of soft tissue here. You put the colour on to stop yourself getting caught out by some sort of uh, inflammatory mass. In, inflammatory so you see some what? 
Inflammatory mass. Oh, mass. Um, yeah. Uh, a neovascular. Because it just got swollen. Okay, okay. And that hypervascularity, that lots of vas uh, vessels uh, in there, the chaotic vascular appearance, would then warn you that what, what, I'm, what I think I'm looking at here is post-injury, is the, the, the hematoma and just the general mess and the fact there's no structure to the tissue because there's been a... T Complex so that's what, that's fluid. what I think I'm seeing there. Gotcha. Complex, not fluid in actual fact. This okay. will just... But but the uh, fibrin and and yes. just general messy unstructured tissue. Yes. If that was then full of vessels, yeah. If this is full of vessels, then actually that potentially a different story. And the most obvious thing is is synovitis bursting out to the joint for some reason. And so you're looking at uh, the possibility of this inflammatory arthropathy, and then. It, uh, uh, the real sort of rarities, the rocking horse droppings, are sort of uh, sarc some form of odd sarcoma. Rocking but, horse uh, droppings. Yes. I will have to use that one. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so real rarity. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, so that's that. That's sort of that's the sort of thing that goes through your head. Um, at that point is you know this is a mess it looks like very untidy post-traumatic uh soft tissue changes uh but you just always have in the back of your head is there something more exciting atypical going on and putting the color on tidies that up because you wouldn't ex if you've got good reliable color then you wouldn't expect that to be a vascular if it was something hairy you know, like a like a sarcoma. What did they come in for? Pain? Did they come in to get an injection? What what, yeah. what was what was their attempt? What, why were they referred to you? They these invariably they've been around the houses. They have failed everything, and they come in plus for possibly for consideration of an injection, uh, but also just a, a clarification of the diagnosis. And, and so this will have come in to me, referred by another sort of senior physiotherapist, one of the SPs will have sent the patient to me saying, you know, ankle injury, not getting better. Would they benefit from an injection? I'll have a look at them typically in a case like this and say, you know, you, someone's not picked up the fact that they've torn their deltoid ligament. Uh, the rehab needs to be thought out a bit more. Uh, and patient expectations and uh, and you know is there a surgical uh, is this likely to be a surgical case I will have done some sort of vague stability test but they're probably going to have to go away and treat this conservatively again uh, but appreciating that it's a much more significant injury than they expected you know so that that would normally be the scenario they they turn up in you would not you would not draw their blood, spin it down, put PRP in for a thousand bucks. Where in the NHS, this is all my work is. Uh, oh. I think I would, if in in an in another life, uh, if if I was working privately, uh, and all options were open, uh, I would probably uh, get that MR uh. for. To, to define the, the extent of, see if we could get a clearer picture on the extent of the deltoid injury. Uh, if, if we thought, depending on their symptoms, I would then say, well, let's try a short course of physiotherapy with maybe some adjunct therapies, you know, stuff yeah. like uh, electrotherapy. See if there's, uh, if the structure is basically intact, I think that will, would improve with the correct loading. Uh, we'll see what they depends what they've been doing, but normally ligaments get a lot better with uh, if, if if there's not any instability, they normally get a lot better with with maintaining normal ranges of movement rather than stretching or all the other rubbish that I, I see a lot of people doing uh, just because it's generic. And I would expect a patient like that with something more tailored to them to get better to make significant advances within two or three weeks. If they didn't then you might think about things like sticking some PRP in.
And that would be my clinical reasoning. To what extent do you actually do dynamic testing while you're looking at this? Or are your mobility testings done in preparation, taking a feel of what it's like at the end of travel manually before you actually go in and do imaging? Um, Ten years ago, I would probably have done my dynamic testing first. Now manually, that manually without and, even a probe out. Yeah, ten years ago, that's what I would have done. Now, these days, I just because you know, if I was going to do a a a, 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 a range, testing a range of movement, why wouldn't it? To me, it'd be like doing a dynamic test with your eyes closed. <laughs> You know, the test ATFL. Yeah. You know, it's so easy in a big thick ankle to mistake the sinus tarsi. How many people, if if, if you ask the average physio to palpate the uh, uh, the ATFL, thirty, forty, maybe fifty percent of them, unless they've really been recently in the books uh, and done a recent good quality hands-on course, they'll put their fingers on the sinus tarsi. Mm. You know. So well, that's that imaging has certainly pulled me to a better locator yeah. of real tissue, but uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, so 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 now my, my view is, you know, why would you not have your probe in your hand while you're doing a dynamic? It's like when I test the medial collateral ligament of a knee. Why would you do that without looking at it at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's like. You know, you do, it's, it's, it's worse, not scanning is worse than doing it with your eyes closed. Because at least yes. you could argue with your eyes closed that you don't really see a lot with your eyes open when you do that. But the scanning, you see a lot when you do a dynamic test. <laughs> you know? Give me one more and then let me let you go to bed. Go on then. Uh, I might well, I'm just, I'll go down to the next patient because let's just go. So that was... Uh, atypical ganglion on MR in a calf incident, incidental gastrox DVT. That's just a picture, actually. So I don't I, know whether I, they, I would like to have you give me the the cliff notes of DVT assessment. But I think what you're showing me here is some uh, basically a, a, a thrombus or something like that within the yeah. within the vessel. Yeah, I I over the years I've I've just, just a little bit more attention to the vascularity within the uh, the calf muscles because because they do get when they get injured they do get uh, DVT within them and though it's a small risk to life they do uh, the vas there was a study from Japan where they did post mortems on all the patients who died of PE over a period of time so they took about about 250 patients and uh, uh, they found the vast majority of the DVTs were actually in uh, the deep, uh, the veins in, inside soleus. Oh. Not, even, not, ev not even to predominantly the ones in, in the veins the vascular people normally check. You know, the, the, yeah. The, thing, the actual within, within the muscle of soleus. Now that was one study, but it yeah. was quite a big one. And so I just, I just pay a little bit of attention to it. Uh, but and they're easy to see, and in a lot of, a lot of the time, particularly with your seven probe, I think they probably you probably see them quite well in a lot of patients. But there's a DVT there. That's a, a straightforward one. Uh, finger MC3, uh, uh, second MCP, arthropathy, uh, isolated sternal. Why have I got isolated? That's a weird. I don't know how that's that's. Uh, a wasting of the uh, sternal head of uh, I wonder what this is. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm curious. I'm, myself, I'm, but I'm enjoying it. So this is uh, isolated wasting of the sternal head of uh, pec major. I said there. That's a normal one. And then I switch over to the other side. I can only half remember this scan. Uh, there's just very little muscle there. That's not a good one to show because I don't think, I don't think that's necessarily 
uh, knee aspiration, chronic knee burst, knee chronic burst. That's just a picture. Uh, ganglion dequervins. Is, do you see much dequervins? Um, I I don't do much imaging of it. We see it maybe once a month. Yeah. Oh, I I, I see one a week at least. Oh, is that right? Depends where I'm, where, where I'm working. But there you see a lovely thing. Thing with dequervins is that uh, there are two parts to the. Um, obviously, that there are two tendons in there. Yes. But in actual fact, the uh, polysis longus. This is unusual in that in that there's. Uh, I think that's now. Let me. There. Yeah. This is. Uh, let's have a look. These are pretty raw images. That this this hasn't been edited. So there's the pulley. I'm just having a look because it is a, a stenosing procedure. So as, as this picks up, you often get uh, where it tightens up and and it's actually catching in there. Oh. So you have this, this bit is slightly thickened. Yes. And that's what's irritating. The, uh, this is short axis on the, on the pulley. But if we go back to this bit here, the start, it's a bit that also they all... There. Let me have a look. Yes, so this is the bulk of the tendon, and it's coming off, and there's a slip coming away. So that's the insertion of the abductor. And then what I normally try and pick up, there's the extensor. The extensor is tiny. So often in a lot of images, a lot of older images, you'll see two, two tendons, and one of them's labeled the abductor, and one of them's labeled the extensor brevis. Yes, uh, and actually they're not. They're both the ductal longus because the ductal longus is normally two, sometimes up to five or six different slips, and they're all generally much larger than the extensor brevis, which is usually just a tiny little bit. So if I bring it back to here, if I can find a place where you can even see it, so I'm not focused on this one because it's not relevant. But a lot of the times, it is very relevant where it is. Let me see. We can't. We don't see it there. Sorry, I missed it on that one. Louis. All right. Yeah. Freeze that. That little dot there is extensor brevis. And you have a veil between that and the uh, longus. I mean, some. Yes. yes. This is just a little bit distal, so it's on its way out. It's separating off. So that's going off. That's that's me following brevis to yeah. its. Insertion, the uh, extensor mechanism of the uh, of the thumb. So, but that's not. Uh, look, much. Oh, this must. Some days are good days, and I save loads of stuff. And some days there's only one or two interesting things in the whole day. <laughs> First, unstable, unstable CMC joint. So here I'm moving the CMC joint. Do you see how it yes. pops around? So you kind of go, you're not really going to do that well with an injection, mate. So they come to me for an injection and I go, uh, that looks all right there, but then, oh, it flops around. So I think the other, the other one, the start of this is probably the other side. That's the normal movement. And then that's it slipping about way too much an injection would not be beneficial because an injection's goal is to decrease the inflammatory process of the actual joint and yeah. and because it's unstable the person is continuing to blink with sand in their eye or or or, or yeah. you don't you, you yeah. don't have it it does not stop the perpetuation of what you're trying to stop exactly and 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 natural fact, particularly in the first, uh, in the second MTP joint on the foot, uh, when the uh, when there's a, a mild level of instability there, some of the some of my surgical colleagues have have questioned whether when you uh, inject those joints, what happens is you increase the instability. You know, you, you because cut out of, the joint. Oh, because you because actually. 
you're stretching the the support structures with the the fluid dynamics that's what they say it, it sounds a bit bullshitty but in actual fact you do uh traditionally people use quite high volumes i've often i tend to put in as much as it goes in comfortably and then i stop but a lot of my colleagues who perhaps mightn't have been certainly in the years gone by as diligent about where they place their needle you know there thereabouts and so they often get a little bit of resistance when they inject and then they just push and they push in quite high volumes you know they they'll think of one two three mil they talk about putting in these joints and these joints hold about half a mil so they are Ooh. they are giving them a good old stretch and if there's a weakness that probably puts steroid round a hole if there is one which is going to make that the um going to deteriorate the quality of that tissue uh if, if there's some weakened weakening to the capsule or whether it, the physically mechanically it makes it more unstable even for a short period of time you know you fill the joint full of fluid and as it, it you see joints distend and the surfaces no longer oppose properly and you walk on that and you can imagine even in the short period of time you might have that you might that might damage the joint further so as a not as a rule rule but unstable joint i don't i don't tend to inflate if if i did inflate it it would be with a minuscule volume if i did inject it it would be with a minuscule volume uh so i would probably put something with no no local anesthetic and just uh just put the steroid in when you say uh, local anesthetic, you're talking about a cocktail with the corticosteroid as well? We normally, I would normally inject, uh, you know, uh, the, ask the steroid we usually use uh, for these would come in one mil, one ml of liquid, uh, would contain 40 milligrams of, uh, say, depamedrone or Kenalog, but normally depamedrone in my case. And I would inject... Uh, if I if I wanted to put in uh, a quarter of that, it would be a quarter of a mil, and I would probably mix it with uh, a quarter or a half a mil of uh, ml of the anesthetic of lidocaine. Makes it more unc. Uh oh, I lost you, bud. I think it may be your wife pulling the plug on your on, on you your feet. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she may be download, downloading something. Internet connection is unstable. <laughs> That's pretty normal around here. I I but. value from these, John, um, and um, like you have a plantar fasciitis th th there, and a and a screw in the medial malleolus or whatever. Uh, you know, just going through, or even your gluteal, um, you know, you you had an interesting sono hack on on the 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 gluteal tendons, and and uh, that's where I've refined the the angles of the fibers, where you know clearly they were not that far off with the men and the mead, and yeah. uh, it's that kind of stuff. And again, it was real world stuff. But uh, John, I've had you for more than an hour, and I don't want to wear you out, buddy. <laughs> All right, uh, we, we, we'll call it a day then. I think I think I need to go and have some family time. <laughs> John, thank I'm you for your time. Um, I would like to have us um, maybe come up with uh, alternative times that you could send me as possibles. I will get up. Um, I will just to sample the speed, refresh rates, and all that kind of stuff. Tell me when it fits best for your schedule. I'll modify mine and we'll get on for 15, 20 minutes uh, just to see what yeah. the difference. <clears throat> um, ooh, let me think. Uh, try as soon as tomorrow afternoon, if you like, or over, over, at the weekend. What uh, is tomorrow uh, afternoon? Uh, you're talking about, I have, I have patient care in the morning here, but maybe if you could give me three times, that will allow me to do my eight hour conversion to know what time that is and then i can get back to you with one and we can verify that okay yeah uh, i'm thinking what day don't you work do you work on saturday no every every day i'm i'm reasonably free but friday right now um okay, that's good so so if we say if, if 
if we provisionally say at times on a Saturday, we want, want somewhere where California, where not California, well, can if California really, because they're the main, um, they right. suck up most of the power of the internet uh, when they switch on. Uh, I don't know, on a Saturday, are they quiet? So Saturday morning for you would be, uh, what time, you, what, what sort of riser are you? You just tell me a time that's good for you. I will get up at two in the morning if I need to. I'll look crazy, but uh... no. No, the point. The point is, we're we're living in lockdown, so it's it might as well be a time that that's any time is convenient to to us, so long as it's not at a meal time. So something like uh, uh, if, if if you're up and about at at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh sure. Then, uh, so you just uh, so if you go maybe. 8.30? Yep, I could do I, I could do six, man. Whatever works best for you. Yeah. No. Well then well then you go eight o'clock in the morning. I will do I, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock in the morning your time. Is four o'clock our time. For a short short time. I can do that before yep. we put on tea. Let's 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 do that. Um and we'll set it up. Did you say Saturday? Well Saturday, Sunday, Monday, anything but Tuesday or Wednesday. Which would you prefer? You want to? You, you you. I don't care Saturday or Sunday. Well, let's uh, let's do it on Saturday. And we'll do I'll Saturday. If there's a problem. I'll send you an invite um, for eight o'clock my time um, on Saturday, and you just yeah. let me know if there's an issue. Cool. Thank you, John. That's good. I'll speak to you soon. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.